This is Hage Q Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget, and this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, you're greatly appreciated. You know the routine. Come on in. Make yourself at home. You know what's up. This week takes me to Best Buy and Cash America Pawn Shop. Last week, the boy and I went to go see Mission Impossible, the latest movie. And Best Buy was kind of right on the way, almost across the street. So I had to dip in there for something. So might as well look at look to see what they had. But before I get into what I picked up at Best Buy or the Pawn Shop, not only do I collect movies, yes, I'm one of these wild individuals. I actually watch them. And on a weekly basis, I like to share some of the things I watch either live in the theater, streaming, or actual physical media, and have these things saved up. I actually have movies ready for next, uh, for Halloween coming up. I actually have a 3D pick for Christmas. I actually have some stuff for next February, so stay tuned. Have some really interesting, cool stuff. But again, what I watched this week, I'm going to kick it off with a Dollar Tree pick. This is 8213 Gacy House. This is a 2010 Asylum horror mystery thriller. This was directed by Anthony Frank Hauser, starring Sally Elbert, Michael Gaglio, James Arthur Lewis, Brett Newton, Sylvia Panacion. And this is one of those found footage horror pictures. If it's, if it's an Asylum horror picture, you know it's going to be low budget, though, but it's found footage from ghost hunters who are investigating Gacy's old house and trying to see if they could actually bring up the spirit of the mass murder Gacy and the story revolves around there not a fantastic horror picture though but it's fun it's asylum if you're familiar with asylum it's low budget horror though but pretty decent job on a, on a low budget <clears throat> probably find this at Dollar Tree the amount of money have even seen it at, at Big Lots, uh, 8213 Gacy House. My next pick is a 1990 action adventure film. It's a Kino Lorber pick, Firebirds. This is directed by David Green, starring Nicolas Cage, Tommy Lee Jones, Sean Young, Brian Kessner, and Iana Demian. This is basically the helicopter version of Top Gun. It came out in 1990, Top Gun came out in 1986. I guess they figured just like they kind of ride the coattail on that kind of aerial action film. So basically just think of Top Gun set with helicopters. And you have the Top Gun or Top Helicator helicopter pilot being Nicolas Cage and the old veteran being Tommy Lee Jones. And Tommy Lee Jones is tasked with kind of calming down the, the wild, very talented Nicolas Cage um, helico helicopter pilot while he is actively pursuing his old girlfriend, Sean Young. You might know Sean Young from the um, Harrison Ford futuristic pick Blade Runner. You might know Sean Young from Blade Runner. So it's a it's a cool 90s pick. It's, it's 1990s, so it actually has more of an 80s feel to it, though. But you like that kind of aerial action film. You like Nicolas Cage. You like Tommy Jones. You like Firebirds. My next pick is a 2012 action drama. This is The Guillotines. This is starring or directed by Wei Ki Kiang Lau. Starring Jimin Huang. Ethan Juan, Purba Rajao, Tian Yao, Yawi Yao. And I'm sure I'm murdering these people's name. This is in the time of the Qing Dynasty. Um, the Emperor Yang Zhe created a secret army known as the Guillotines. And this is right before, or right at the time where gunpowder is being discovered. And it's the, this group of guillotines who are trying to basically take over power. The story is a little hard to, to, to follow at times. Great intro. It lulls a little bit in the middle, but it has a very cool ending. And I, I think it kind of has some somewhat of a moral story to it. It's like 
by the creation of gun power, gunpowder and guns, it kind of took some of the dishonor away from, from battle. I think that's kind of the overall theme of the movie, though. Not a bad pick. I think I picked this up a big lot. So, good action. Again, lows in the middle, but pretty decent ending. This is the Guillotines. My next pick, or my last pick, is a 2004 action comedy crime thriller. This is directed by Tim Story. Written and produced by Luke Poisson. Luke Poisson, big action guy. Starring Queen Latifah, a.k.a. Dana Owens, Jimmy Fallon, Henry Simmons, uh, Jennifer Esposito when she was a thing. And this takes, this is about Queen Latifah who just gets her, her license to drive a taxi. She has a brand new kitted out ta uh, taxi. And you have Jimmy Fallon who is this kind of bumbling police officer who can't drive and he is in this situation where he has to hail down Queen Latifah's taxi to follow these bank robbers and that's where the story begins very fun film love Queen Latifah not that big of a Jimmy Fallon fan but he's fun in this movie the car is, is kitted out uh, again this seems more like a, a Luc Besson story just because of the action even though I know Tim Story directed though but very fun film get the opportunity uh, get the DVD the Blu-ray is a little bit hard to get but I do have the Blu-ray Taxi now without further ado sit back relax have a drink have a smoke and I'll catch you on the other end of this video
We are back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. Have some picks here. Have my usual 3D pick and classic pick. Some Amazon, eBay pick. So give me a minute. Let me get them scanned in and I'll get you good people on your way. Give me a second. We're going to jump right into this. To start out with what I picked up at Best Buy, this is what I picked up at Best Buy. Not a damn thing. That was looking pretty sad. Originally, the reason I went over to Best Buy, I need to get something like this for my computer. They didn't They didn't even have this. So I had to go over to Office Max. So, didn't get anything from Best Buy. Not a big surprise, but not to worry. I did pick up a few things at Cash America, my little watering hole for videos. I'll kick it off with something. I think it's probably a Dollar Tree pick right here, though, but it's actually cheaper at the pawn shop. Robbie Ammo, Stephen Ammo, and Swang. Sung Sung Kang. I believe Sung Kang is from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. I believe that's him. I'm not 100% positive. It's a vertical release. Low budget. Sci-fi. Code 8. Next. Yeah, Brittany Murphy. A very young. Dakota Fanning. Uptown Girl. Special Edition. It's an MGM release. Uptown Girls. Next, we have Mr. Chris Farley, the best of. To be honest, after I think the Eddie Murphy, Billy Crystal group of Saturday Night Cast, I pretty much stopped watching it. Chris Farley, is, in my opinion, is probably one of the last of the really funny guys at Saturday Night Live. Yeah, you have Adam Sandler, uh, Michael Myers. I like uh, some of the movies, though. But Chris Farley, out of all of them, of the new bunch, I think he's one of the, the funnier ones. Chris Farley, Saturday Night Live, best of. This is an NBC Home release, Lionsgate release. Next, a movie I've never heard of. I like Kiefer, been a Kiefer fan since probably 24 that's probably really made me a Kiefer Sutherland fan like his father Donald Sutherland Reese Witherspoon from Clueless two thumbs up Freeway it was like an action maybe car chase movie it's another Lionsgate release got the old slip cover a little worn though we have the DVD Freeway Next, I have to have this on a three set disc. It's three different movies. So just to get it on one, you have Jamie Foxx, the beautiful Neil Long, still fine now. Held up. It's a comedy. And this is a Trimark film release. Jamie Foxx, as a matter of fact, glad to see that he's actually up and around and he's having a big health issue in. Still don't know what what his health issue was, but just glad to see him back again. Jamie Foxx, in my opinion, one of the most talented people in Hollywood right now. Definitely triple threat, stand-up comedy, musical, musical, fantastic artist, as well as great actor and comedian. Jamie Foxx and me along held up. And my last pick from Cash America, we have a Disney pick, Walt Disney Enchanted. Never seen this. Is that McDreamy? Yeah, I guess that's McDreamy. Enchanted. And this one I just picked up at Cash America Pawn Shop. And with this, I paid a whopping $242. So not bad for that. Just some things I picked up eBay, Amazon, Storm Warriors, Ultimate Edition, really unique martial arts picture, only thing though, the DVD for some reason is in the English, for some reason the Blu-ray does not have the English soundtrack, they just have the Cantonese, which kind of sucks, 
so but still great picture of the storm warriors and this is a i don't know who distributed this show box release next have a throwback film here george throwback film george clooney jennifer lopez out of sight just watch this didn't realize all the other people they had in here like ving rames uh don Cheadle. so not a bad movie uh, who else is in here albert brooks dennis farina so not a bad pick not saying that George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez had the best chemistry in my opinion though, but despite them, still a fun movie. Universal release, out of sight. My Keno Lobo pick here. This is one of those kind of star studded comedy films. I'm trying to think something similar to that. Um, Rat Race, the original Rat Race. It had all these great comedians from uh, the 60s and 70s. Stocker Channing, uh, Ruth Gordon, Larry Hagman. If you know Larry Hagman from Dallas, that was JR. Richard Mulligan, he was on the television show Soap. Lynn Redgrave, so this is definitely a throwback. Kino Lorber, Ned Beatty, you probably remember him from Superman. I think he played the lackey for Lex Luthor. And you have the Kino Lorber with the somewhat bland but unified disc and backing, which I love because it looks so nice on the shelf. Kino Lorber, big bus. Another throwback here. Lee Evans, Claire Forlani, and Jackie Chan, the medallion. This is a fantasy martial arts picture. Fun picture, fan, fun, fun family picture. The medallion. This is an image, image screen gems release. And to get to my 3D pick for the week, Wolf Warrior 3D. Scott Atkins. And God, I can't think of that guy's name. Beautiful artwork. Also, beautiful artwork on the disc as well as on the cover on the flip side. Wolf Warrior 3D. And my classic pick for the week this is a Disney pick. And honor and tribute of the late Bob Guillaume, Sinbad, first kid. If you don't know who Bob Guillaume is, he played Benson in the show Benson and also on Soap. You would think you're really applauding a guy playing a butler, a black guy playing a good butler. No, this is very unique actor. He very intelligent, very articulate, very witty and very intelligent comedy back then, Benson, as well as Sinbad. Sinbad's probably Ricky Smiley, one of the best clean stand-up comedians. So classic pick Disney's The First Kid. And this is my weekly pickup. You know the routine, give me a minute, let me separate the plastic from the artwork. And one of these might actually hit the, hit the, the shelf and get you good people on your way. Give me just a minute. I have everything scanned into my CLZ Movies app. That's C as in code 8, L as in Limey, Z as in Zoolander. Let's knock this out. Everything laid out. 
ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate each and every one of you that tuned in, especially if you leave comments, made it this far, smash a like, give me the big thumbs up, ring the bell. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's wrong? Go ahead, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.